Got yourself a P30 or a P30 Pro? Then you need a case from Spigen to protect either one of them. My review after my intro. <laughs> Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla, I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be reviewing the entire case lineup from Spigen for the P30 and the P30 Pro. Now I'm filming this on my second P30 Pro in 4K set at wide angle because that wide angle really does come into play when you've got a lot of stuff like this on your desk. I'm not going to edit the sound quality or the image quality, so let me know what you think about that. So again, 4K wide video. Now I've got eight cases for the P30 Pro and four cases for the P30. Now the what I'm going to do is these four here are the four I've got for the P30 and the P30 Pro. And these four are just for the P30 Pro. So I'll show you both as we go along. So let's start off with my favorite Spigen case, the Rugged Armor. Now this one, TPU thick, got the web pattern on the inside. Really nice looking case, this one. Let me show you the P30 Pro version. You can see the cutouts different right there. So. Let me put this on here real quick. And now this one works with the full glass screen protector, which I've done a review on, so check that out. I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Plenty of lip protection, even with the glass screen protector, so I'm confident it will protect it if you lay it face down. You've got both, they're exactly the same. So bit of Spigen branding on the back. This bit's a matte finish. This has got the kind of a ridged feel to it. The camera cut out, nice and recessed. On the top, on the P30 Pro version, you've got a cutout for the IR Blast and the mic. On the P30 version, just a cutout for the mic because there's no IR Blast on that one. Buttons, exactly the same. Got a bit of a red ridge texture on the power button. Volume rockers, very easy to press, no issue there. Cut out to the bottom. Now, what I'll do is let me stick this one on the P30. See, same amount of lip protection on the P30 as it's bigger brother. The cutouts at the bottom are identical, except the P30 version, because it's got the headphone jack, it's a much bigger cutout. Along this side, nothing. Both very, very nice cases. Let me drop this on here, show you wireless charging works. And bang, no problem with wireless charging on the P30 Pro. So that's the Spigen Rugged Armor. I think this is about $9.99. I will leave links in the description below. Check those links out because as always, it helps me, helps my channel. So that's probably one of my favorites. Next, we have the Spigen Slim Armor. Now this one, same web pattern on the inside. They've all got this air cushion technology in the corners built into the cases you can probably just about see it there this web pattern gives you that sort of shock absorption spreads it around if you drop your phone hard shell on the back tp thick tpu on the inside and around the sides here so let's dump the case on the Pro and let's put it on the P30. All right. See the top, same cutouts. I'm not going to go into all the cutout stuff. Same style buttons, but a bit chunkier. 
you've got this ridge texture on the power buttons. Buttons work perfectly. Power button works perfectly. You got about you got a bit of slim armor branding embossed into the hard plastic. The bottom cutouts exactly the same. Again, headphone jack on the P30 is bigger. Plenty of protection for your camera. Good two millimeters there. So no issue putting it on the desk. You can see how the back looks on this. These all this comes in a different color as well. If it's something you're into. This one on the P30 Pro. You can see wireless charging, no problems at all. Kickstand, exactly the same. Bit of Spigen branding on it on the outside and on the inside. So you can put this down like that to watch anything. Oh, I'm hitting the stand. It does not work in this vertical option. So only horizontal. Plenty of lip protection on both cases. Bring that close up, you can see. No issue there. Bring in the P30 Pro. No issue there. Plenty of lay on the table protection, even with a glass screen protector. So that one is the Slim Armor, probably the most protective out of all the cases here. Really nice case. I think this one's about $12.99. Definitely worth checking out if you want maximum protection for your device. Take this off. A little bit stiff to take off, but it's okay. I can live with it. Also, I wanted to mention the kickstand clicks back into place. Okay, it's not sprung loaded. And this bit here with the TPU is it's a tiny bit higher than the hard plastic. So when you put this down on a table, it's sitting on this rather than this. It stops this hard plastic. It stops it getting messed up, basically. So, now let's move on to the least protective, the liquid crystal. Take these out. Now these are a pliable TPU. Yes, these will go yellow over time, regardless what anyone says, they always go yellow. You got a bit of air cushion technology, as it says there in the corners. Inside, you've got this kind of a dot matrix pattern. I don't know if you can see it. You can hear it, it stops giving you that weird sort of rainbow effect. I'll put it onto here. And I'll put it onto the P30 Pro. Make sure the back of your phone is clean because you get shows all the dust and everything. Very nice if you've got a colorful P30 Pro or P30. Again, cutouts are the same as the other cases. Buttons are the same as the other cases. You've got a bit of a ridge pattern on the power buttons, volume rockers, easy to press, you've got a bit of Spigen branding there, Spigen ink in Irvine, California, made in South Korea, exactly the same cutouts at the bottom, and plenty of protection for your cameras, good millimeter or two there, and the same for the P30, and again, same amount of lip protection, even with a glass screen protector on both devices, as you can see. You just dump this on here. As you can see, wireless charging works perfectly. So, let's take these off now. Take this off. That was the liquid crystal. I think they're about $6.99, so they're not hugely expensive. Least protective out of all of them. Now another clear option. This is the Ultra Hybrid. Very similar, oh, dropping everywhere. Very similar to the Liquid Crystal in looks, but this is all TPU, where this one, 
hard plastic shell. The TPU around the sides is a bit tougher. So this is gonna give you more protection if you want that clear look. So let's put that down there. There's no dot matrix on the inside of this one. Lightly liquid crystal, because the back, this hard plastic shell, doesn't come into contact with the back. Hard plastic there. Very, very fingerprint prone, this one. So if you've got OCD like me, it'll do your head in. And let's put on, sorry, if you can hear cars and whatever. Let's put on the P30 Pro version. And let's show you around both of these again. Same air cushion technology. Buttons exactly the same as the previous case. Ridges on the power button. Volume rockers perfect. Same branding here, bit of speak and spiel as the other cases. Cutouts the same. I'm not going to talk about the cutouts too much because they're exactly the same in all of them. Plenty of lay on the table protection here for the screen, even with the glass screen protector. Plenty on the P30 as well. This feels so nice in hand. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this, check that out. Check that out, definitely. Now, dump this on here. And you can see, wireless charging, no issue whatsoever. So that's all the cases I have for the P30, okay? That's all that was available at the time of making this video. So now, it's gonna be just about the P30 Pro. The rest of the cases I've got left. So if you, if you've got a P30, switch off now. That's why I did that in the beginning. Now, I'm going to talk about these. These are sort of their more designer range. This is like a Safino leather. It's got that kind of a cross. If you can hear that. Sort of, it's a special process they use of leather. Bit of gold M there. This is the Lamano Carlin. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. Bring that in so you can see that. Lamano Carlin. This is not the most protective case in the world. Inside, beautiful microfiber lining. It's a hard case. Very soft, embossed with that M logo. Bit of Spigen branding here. Irvine, California, made in China. So the back of your P30 Pro will not get scratched up with this one. So, very easy to put on. Of course, it works with the screen protector. With a glass screen protector, there is no lay on the table protection. With this one, it's a little bit, it's not as tight as I'd like it, if I'm honest. Big cutout for the power button and the volume rockers. Bottom's completely exposed. This side is covered. The top's completely open as well. The camera's well protected. On the back, you've got a couple of mils of protection there. It feels very, very grippy because of the style of this leather. Feels really nice in hand. It's a very minimalist case, this one. I mean, look at it from the front. You can see that, how that looks. Let me put it on here and you know, make sure the wireless charging works. And perfect, no issue with wireless charging. Um, I think this one's around £20. Although I like this, I find it hard to recommend this one. It, the feel, the fit doesn't feel... See that's a bit... It's not gripping properly. See, is there... No, there's no real... There's some lay on the protection on the corners here. No, I don't. I can't recommend this one. It, 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 and look how easy that's popping off. I might have a faulty unit here, so bear that in mind. You can try it, use the link in the description. Try it out, see what you think. This one's another one from the Le Manon, Le Manon case. 
uh, collection, should I say. This is called the Classy. This one's a TPU. Inside, you've got that same M branding stamped in there. Spiegel in gold right here. A bit more stuff here about Spiegel, nothing major. But it's a soft TPU case. Goes on very easy. And unlike this one, it's full coverage. So cutouts at the top. The buttons have all got slits cut underneath them. So it makes them so easy to press. Very tactile buttons. Cutouts at the bottom exactly the same. Plenty of lip protection for your screen, even with a glass screen protector, so no issue there, to put it like that. The back is nice and grippy, because it's got these ridges. You can hear that? Feels really nice. I like this gold M branding here. It's a more higher sort of class case, I suppose. Doesn't pick up fingerprints. This doesn't pick up fingerprints. This one doesn't. These two do. So it's only the two, the crystal hybrid or ultra hybrid, should I say, and the liquid crystal. They pick up fingerprints. The rest of them don't, in case you're wondering. Slight lip here around the camera to give it a little bit more protection. Probably two mils, maybe. So nice and recessed. Again, wireless charging, not a problem with this one. So that one's the Le Manon Classy. I'll take that off. Next one, another favorite of mine. This one's the Neo Hybrid. Same web pattern on the inside. It's got, it's all TPU. It's got this plastic frame that runs around it to give it a bit more, your phone a bit more protection. It's got this sort of herringbone pattern on the back with a bit of Spigen branding embossed into it. It is a two-part case, but you don't have to separate it to use it, which is what I like. I hate separating cases and fiddling around. <clears throat> right. Show you the top. Show you the bottom. No issues whatsoever there. Buttons on this are a bit slimmer than say, well actually they're about the same. It's a little bit smaller, but you have got the same ridged texture on the power button. Volume rockers are the same. Buttons are a little bit stiffer on this one. <clears throat> I think it's because of this frame. Just a little bit, they're not, unusable but they're, they're less tactile but they do work lip protection plenty of it there even with the glass screen protector you've got neo hybrid branding embossed into the plastic there cut out to the top perfect camera's got about two mils of protection as well you Let me dump this on here and you can see that works perfect. No issues with wireless charging. So that one is the Neo Hybrid. It's a little bit, it's, I'd say it's between the Slim Armor and the Rugged Arm protection wise. So if I bring this in real quick. It's got the sort of the TPU of the Rugged Armor got the TPU of the Rugged Armor, but a bit of the hard shell of the Slim Armor. Slim Armor buttons are a little bit difficult to find, but because of the ridged power button there, they're sort of straightforward enough. These are a bit easier to find, I personally, because the power button, power button, volume rockers on the Slim Armor are a bit more flush with the case. So you can see the three together. This one's probably a tiny bit taller than both of the others. Yep, it's definitely a little bit taller. You can see that there. And it's definitely a little bit wider. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit wider than the Slim Armor and the Rugged Armor. So it's a little bit more, little bit more bulky in hand. Neo Hybrid. 
Nice one. And finally, finally, thank God, finally. The Wallet S case. This is not real leather. Um, speaker, make that clear. It's not. It's a wallet style case, basically. Hard plastic shell to hold the phone. You got kind of that nice diamond pattern there. But this hard shell is it's okay, but it's not super protective. So again, it's not. See, that's a little bit. Probably a faulty couple of initial cases because I've had this for a while. Let's check out if it's got sleep weight functionality. No. Kind of does. It ons the always on display. See it's off. Then it brightens up and then you can unlock. You've got that magnet there. Now they've got a cutout here for the earpiece. Now this doesn't have an earpiece, the P30 Pro, because the speaker, the earpiece speakers behind the screen. I have tested it on phone calls. It does muffle it out a little bit, this case. So if you're gonna use this, my advice is open it like that, take your call and then put it back again. Inside, that is a nice sort of microfiber material. Top is totally open there, as you can see. Big cutout for the buttons. Right there, pull that back. Bottom's completely open as well. But if you look here, the le the PU leather is a bit higher than the actual phone, and the same applies to the bottom. The cameras protected loads of probably about three mils of protection there. Bit of Spigen branding on the bottom of this, matching the Spigen branding on the front. Got that nice sort of machine stitched edges to it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit wobbly. You can see that. You definitely need a screen protector because if dust gets under here, and this is in your pocket doing this, you're going to scratch you the hell out of your phone. You will scratch to death. It's magnet. Let's test this out. Magnet's good, holds perfectly well. Take this out. But this is an instruction. Insert the card so that the magnetic strip is on the right side towards the edge of the case. So the magnet strip has to be here. I suppose it's to avoid the magnet here because it can damage the magnetic strip. Do not put it the other way. It's a warning they've given. Really stiff here. So you can put some money, receipts, whatever in there bit more speed and branding on the inside you could probably fit you can fit two cards definitely I'd say if you loosen it up you can probably get two cards at each I wouldn't I just stick to the one card each and of course you've got this stand functionality you can see that right there So you can use that to watch a film or something of that nature. Obviously this hard shell provides no screen protection whatsoever. So that one is the Wallet S. Now of all of these, of all of these, I'd probably say my favourites. I like all the cases for the P30. Personally, um, I like the rugged armor. I like the slim armor. Um, I also like the ultra hybrid P30 ultra, ultra hybrid. Oh, one thing. One thing I didn't check. Does it charge? And yes, it charges. My bad, but it does charge with this case on. So as I was saying, I like all the cases for the P30. That's my, well, I would recommend all of them. Uh, not too sure about the liquid crystal. You get a clear silicone case in the box. Is there any point in getting the 
liquid crystal. I doubt it's cheap. It's six nine nine. It's better quality than the freebie you get in the box. Um, but definitely ultra hybrid, slim armor, rugged armor all day long. Recommended for the P thirty. For the P thirty Pro, I w I like the neo hybrid for medium protection. I like the slim armor for maximum protection really nice especially with that kickstand it helps a lot um, I love the rugged armor I think that gives a good compromise it doesn't feel too big in the hand either where's it gone it doesn't feel too big in the hand it's a classic I love I love this is probably my most favorite speeding case out of all of them this one I know it sounds weird but I love this one so slim armor most protection Neo hybrid if you want medium protection, less protection but still protective is the rugged armor. Um, this is a bit thinner than the rugged armor. This Le Manon Classy. It definitely a bit more thinner TPU used in it. Yeah, you can see how it's bowing a little bit. But I do like this one. If I want some all round protection, this is worthwhile a look the classy um, not a fan of this because of the fit not a huge fan of the wallet s I don't like wallet style cases that's a personal preference um, for me ultra hybrid I like it but the grease on the back would just do my head in and the dust particles getting in so if you can see that you, know, you probably can't see it Let me bring that in it's dust already sticking in there. That would probably give me a headache. I like the liquid crystal, but this will go yellow. Bear that in mind. So there you have it, guys. That's all the Spigen lineup for the P30 and the P30 Pro. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I am interested as always. I'll be reviewing all the official cases next for the P30 Pro. I mean, all of them, the flip cases, the smart cases, silicone cases, etc. So you want to hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash it now. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video on all your social media because it helps me out, helps the channel grow. I've also reviewed the Spigen screen protector. I've also reviewed that glass screen protector I showed you. I'll leave links for it here, here, somewhere. Check them out. And remember, this was filmed using a P30 Pro in 4K in wide angle, using the wide angle lens. Let me know what you think about the sound quality, the image quality, and until next time, oh, I've also got the Otterbox cases for the P30 Pro. I've also got the Rinky cases for the P30 Pro. I'm getting the UAG cases soon, so you definitely want to smash that subscribe button. Anyway, this is Techzilla. This is vintage Techzilla saying take care and peace.